Hi, welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Empire of the Feast by Bendy Barrett. Last month, we did all Dark Academia books, books set at colleges, at universities, with a hint or more of magic. And here in December, I thought it would be fun to do something a little warmer, a little closer to the heart. And so uh, for the next three weeks, we will be looking at some speculative romance. Um, and Empire of the Feast is maybe not 100% that, uh, but I think it certainly tends to matters of the heart and matters of the body. Uh, and so it's a really fun way to kick off our little uh, mini seminar here at the end of the year. Empire of the Feast is the story of Riverson, the first male reincarnation of the uh, leader of the Staghead Empire, an intergalactic um, space empire that's lasted for 32 generations and uh, is driven by um, the relationship between the empress, now emperor, um, and the, the central star that um, the space station, our, our narrative, takes place in orbits around. Uh, and this star has a um, demonic entity that lives within it, uh, this strange, devouring, uh, entropic entity called the rapacious and uh, things are a little bit off a little bit dangerous a little bit different uh, because now all of a sudden we have an emperor where we had expected empresses it is also a deeply erotic uh, novella it is uh, a place where the, the machinery of empire isn't going to lube itself. <laughs> where the sort of magic and the strength of the bonds of this entity, the rapacious and the power of um, the empire, is brought about by the titular feast, which is um, an enormous orgy composed of various aristocrats and uh, personages of the empire um, and seeing a really um, marvelously done discussion of, of flesh and of wanting and of being on the sidelines and being a participant while all the while thinking about the relationship between the body as an individual entity and the body as a stand-in for empire and uh, the way that an empire is composed of bodies. It was really just a very fun read um, and you know a little little something a little something red, a little something uh, spicy here <laughs> at the end of the year. Nice quick read too, but one that leaves you eager to spend more time in the, the Staghead Empire. I love a novella here during the holidays because uh, a lot of us have um, lots of demands on our time, and so having a nice short read um, can be a really great way to, to find something nice um, when there's a lot going on. So, because uh, I really thought Empire of the Feast was remarkable, not only at a prose level and its discussion of like space and magic and eroticism, but also for the thematic critiques around the machinery of empire and um, the, the body politic, um, we had to do a drink. So, without any further ado, why don't we turn to today's drink. This is the Rapacious, inspired by Empire of the Feast, and it is named for that entity that lives in the sun, this uh, primordial foe of the Staghead Empire and Staghead Emperor, uh, the Rapacious. So we're going to get started with our base spirit. And I said this sort of black and tropic uh, scar across the sun um, 
So we're going to start with some blackstrap rum for our rapacious. There we go. We're going to get one ounce of that in there. And then we're going to keep things rich. We're going to keep things, those dark, dried fruits that we really like this time of year and that are going to just bring a hint of decadence. Um, and we're going to do that today with apricot liqueur. We're going to get half an ounce of our apricot liqueur in there. I'm going to sweeten things up. going to bring those sort of caramel um, dried fruit notes into our cocktail. Next, uh, America and Space's favorite syrup, Orgeat, because where's the orgy at? Uh, <laughs> and let me tell you, I've been sitting on that one for a while, so uh, <laughs> we're very happy to get the, the Orgeat in to our um, Space Erotica. And so we're going to get a half ounce of the Orgeat in there as well. Also, if you're mostly a watcher and not a reader, that'll explain some of the things about how we actually spell Orgeat. Uh, let me tell you, in my day, I have seen some really funky uh, spellings of that word. Next, to round things out and uh, sort of complete our cocktail build, we've got some heavy cream, a nice rich dessert, as I've said, it's about decadence, it's about control of empire, it's about indulgence. Um, appropriate for this time of year, and I think appropriate for a lot of the ideas of the book as well. So that's going to just round out our dessert cocktail here, the rapacious, and then we'll get our ice down in there. Big tin on top. There we go. Now, oftentimes we will uh, double shake and do a dry shake of our dessert cocktails, but I really like the smooth sort of richness of this one just by itself without that extra froth of a dry shake. So we are going to strain it off after our shake. Get that down in there. Come on. Into our stemmed cocktail glass. Wonderful. And to garnish, I've got some ground nutmeg. As I've said a couple of times, it's a book with a little bit of spice, uh, and it's a time of year when we like a little spice. So we're going to get those baking spice notes on there. Just a little sprinkle on top to garnish our rapacious. Give that a little swirl. You can see sometimes how you get inadvertent fun uh, shapes or images when you're garnishing with like some dried nutmeg, something like that. Um, and so you want to give it a little swirl just to make it special. And so there you have it. This is the rapacious inspired by Empire of the Feast by Bendy Barrett. Empire of the Feast is available now from one of our favorite small presses, Neon Hemlock. Um, got the link to snag the book down below. Uh, got a link to the Boston Shaker where we've got uh, all of our tools and ingredients, the jigger, the shaker. Uh, if you don't want to make your own orgeat, you can get that there as well. To various forms of social media, including Twitter and Instagram, where uh, there's always a written version of today's recipe. Please like, share, subscribe with these small novellas and these small presses uh, getting to spread uh, the news about the book via word of mouth really makes a huge difference. So telling folks about this um, is something that can be a real leg up. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, try the drink. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Tune in next week for another one of our speculative romances. Uh, that one's going to be for the ladies uh, and revisiting one of our favorite series from last year. So be sure to tune in. And until next time, cheers.